Welcome back to a beginner's guide for Farming Simulator 22. Uh, we're working toward advanced productions. We're trying to make some cake. What we have so far, we have flour from our flour mill that we had already had to make bread. We have eggs from our chickens, and our strawberries are coming along nicely. I actually turned on our tomato production as well and set that to selling so that we can make a little cash on the side with the strawberries in the meantime because I've been saving up money. I did a whole bunch of contracts, um, mostly harvesting and baling contracts, to try to afford the things we need. I did buy the second field over here. So now we own both 47 and 48, and I went ahead and planted grass in that field. So now we have two grass fields. Uh, this one's fallow right now, but I think we can next month, no, this month. So we can plant uh, wheat or barley in there if we would like, because we're gonna need straw, and we also need chicken food. So let's get started doing stuff. I'm going to take care of the things that we already have, which is our chickens first and foremost. Make sure they're not hungry. I've been pretty good about keeping them full. There we go. Nice and easy. Boom. Chickens are taken care of for another month. Doing good, chickens. Um, yes, our greenhouse needs water. We're getting low. It's still, I think, more water than it'll take in a month, but might as well fill it up a bit. So let me get that done. I'll uh, show you where we can get water on this base farm if you don't want to drive to the pond or stream or whatever. That, I think it's a pond. But you can, you can dip this in the pond or I believe there's a couple of streams that you can go to on the map. The, I believe this stream, let's see, what do we got? So this is too small, but up here, like if you're heading, if you go across this stream here is plenty full. And if you go up the road, like you're going to the mill and you have that covered bridge, the water goes, or the road goes right down into the water. There's a bypass around the bridge because it's supposed to be a no truck bridge. So you can drive right down and drive back out and fill up. There's also this pond down here that you can get water out of for free. I'm not really sure about any of the further out ponds. Probably the one back here. But this farm, when you uh, first load up, comes with a spot to get water. But I believe it costs like a dollar a liter. No, that can't be. That would be way too expensive. Let's find out. So we have 112,520. But if we pull up to this little guy over here, we should... Maybe we got to put our butt end right at it. There should be a trigger here. Do I not have those on? I thought I had those on. Yeah, see, there's a trigger there for filling. Let's see if I can back this up into the trigger. Yes, start filling. R. I was looking for the wrong thing. Yeah, so the price is going down. We have to pay for water here. Not really my favorite. I don't want to... If it gets to 112, I'm stopping it. And you can stop it by just hitting R again. Maybe it's a dollar for a hundred liters. Yeah, that probably makes more sense. We'll find out in a second. And R. We spent five hundred and sixteen dollars for five thousand one hundred and sixty-two liters. So a hundred dollars per thousand liters. We'll go dump this, and then I will. Actually, that's probably plenty. That'll keep it running for the month. We don't need to fill it right up to the top. We've got a bunch of other stuff to do. Because what I want to do... 
our, the grass fields that I planted are now ready to harvest. And so we're going to need some implements. We need uh, a mower, of course, to mow the grass. And then we're going to need a tether for the hay. We need a wind rower so that it doesn't take forever. And then we're going to need um, a bale wrapper that'll work with the baler that we have so we can make silage. I think that's all we need to get the grass at least harvested and in a state where we can use it. So let me park this trailer and I'll meet you over at the uh, at the shop. We'll go shopping. And here we are. All right, I'm going to turn this off for a second. Oop, don't even need that on. Let's see what we can get. First, let's see what's for sale today. Ooh, ooh a giant wind rower that'll take quite a bit of money. I guess we don't really need that. And a new tractor. We could afford either, but we don't really need them. So I guess we'll move on to mowers. Here we go. So I was looking at this set because as far as prices go, I think this is the the best size for the price. I want to get the front mower. We'll get the little mower first, and then I'll get the um, the other implements that I need. And then if we can afford it, we can get either the side mower or the twin rear mowers, which now that I'm thinking about it, we might run into that issue again. That's 180. What is our tractor? 171. Yeah, so we should. It's pretty close to the horsepower limit of those two combined, so we should be able to run them in tandem with this tractor. So let's go ahead and buy the first one so we at least have a mower. Now, these fields aren't super small, so I don't want to buy the smallest, cheapest implements just because it'll take forever. Um, so we're going to upgrade a little bit. We're going to go to this 9 meter um, tether for 16500 We'll buy that. We're going to buy... A wind rower. Again, we're not going to get the smallest. What I think we're going to get is this first double rake wind rower um, because that'll do 8.4 meters and it's only 19,005. Whereas everything else is much smaller 3.4, 4.7 meters. So it's, you know, twice the width. It's also twice the price, but it's not super expensive. So we're going to go with this one. This will save us a lot of time and energy. 19500 Okay. So now what we need to do is double check our baler. And see what size we make. We make 125 to 180 centimeter round bales. So let's get a bale wrapper that will wrap something like this. So this will do 125 to 150 centimeter round bales. We could get the sausage wrappers, but I was not super fond of that last time we tried it. This one would do those plus square bales, but we don't have square bales. Even though square bales might be a little easier to stack and, and set up, we'd have to buy a different baler and all of that plus that would take up most of what we have left so we'll go with a 22,000 bale wrapper wrapper design what do we got for options a bale on and turner so that'll make it so that instead of landing on the round side the bales will flip over onto the flat side that actually wouldn't be bad but it's an extra 2,000 I think we can do without it. If we were on a really hilly field, that might really be worth it because then our bales don't just roll away. <clears throat> we got brands. Uh, it doesn't much matter. Oil color also doesn't much matter. We'll leave it white because then it'll look like marshmallows. So 22000 for that. We'll go ahead and buy that. That leaves us 44000 
Now the other thing that I wanted to buy today was potentially get some cows so that we can start making milk. They're fairly cheap. Um, but I think we have enough. And we now have the ability to make hay and silage. So we have the ability to make decent money fairly quickly. So we have 44. I'm going to go ahead with a more expensive of the two. Just because it's wider, it'll be quicker on our fields. 25,000 for that mower. All right. So now we got to ferry all of this stuff back to the... Uh, the farm what I think I'll do is just take the mowers first and we'll go use them we'll go mow those fields and then I'll come back and start getting other things so let's get these mowers hooked up I'm gonna put the front mower on first because those rear mowers are usually pretty heavy and without a weight or anything to counter it on the front it might lift our front end right up into the air. So we'll put the front mower on first and then pick up the rear mower. We also don't have a place to put all this. We, we could probably rearrange the stuff in our existing shed that's over near those fields. Because a lot of that stuff didn't take up the full shed space. So I'm sure we can squeeze all of this in there with that. But I'll meet you over at those fields. Okay, here we are at the fields. Uh, this one is 100% yield bonus because we I mulched the wheat that had been here before. This one, when I bought it, it was already cultivated. It just had weeds growing, so we didn't mulch it. So we ended up with a 98% yield bonus. This one also has some rocks in it. And I wanted to see if that actually affected it with this. I know that rocks affect your harvester when you're harvesting like grains and stuff, but I'm not sure if they affect mowers. So we're gonna just keep an eye on it and see if our our damage goes up quickly in this field compared to that field. Uh, if so, we'll just have to recultivate it, rent a rock picker, get the rocks out of it, and then sew it again. It's not that bad. Uh, I do want to see what the size of these is. So we're looking at fields. 47 and 48. So I think if we come down to... Isn't there a spot where it lists it? Do, 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 do. Oh, I could have sworn there was a spot where we could see... Per field that might have been a mod okay because it's just list vehicles well that stinks i don't know exactly how big these fields are does it say does not and this also doesn't say i don't know where i could find out exactly the size because they're different shapes so i think I think 47 is bigger than 48. So even though it's got 2% less yield, I think we're going to make silage out of this one and we'll make hay out of that one. Just because then if we have silage left over, we can get a better price on silage than we can on hay. So if we want to sell any extra, it'll be better to have more silage. So I'm going to turn this back on. Uh, I think I went over all this in the grass work episode, but X will lower down. These do not have a work mode, so it just widespreads. You actually can't change these ones to, uh, to swathing or anything. The front needs to be unfolded as well, which just puts the little flaps on the end down. And that should be it for these. I'm surprised the little flaps didn't come down on this. But I'll go ahead. I'll hit B to turn everything on once I get myself lined up here. And all this grass on the edges, I'll probably mow a decent bit around the fields. Because grass is grass, you just get less yield. 
out here on the edges because it's not sown and fertilized. But I'll get this turned on, get our implements lowered down, and I'll mow this field and I'll see when I'm done with that. Well, there we go. That didn't take very long at all. I definitely think the, uh, the larger mowers were the way to go. Oh, well, that was the wrong button. I think with a smaller mower, we uh, would have been here all day. The, the side mower wouldn't have been bad. It would have taken just a little bit longer. But if we went with just the front mower on this field, it would have taken quite a while uh, I'm just gonna set these off to the side here for now I'm gonna wait until I get all the equipment that we just bought here and then figure out how to organize everything I might even do that off camera just because that's gonna take a little thought figuring out how to fit everything in there while still having stuff mostly accessible for when we're gonna need it so I'll have to rank things by how frequently we use them and how easy it is to move out of the way of other things. But I will uh, head back over to the shop and I'll meet you there in just a second. So one of the great things about these tatters is they're usually small enough that you can hook them to the front for transportation. So if we hook the tether to the front, it won't work on the front of the tractor. It has to be pulled behind. But just to get it to the field, you can hook it on the front. And the tractor can handle it. That way we can hook the wind rower on the back and save ourselves a trip. Um, so of course we're going to use the tether just on the field that we want to make into hay. The field that we're making into silage need needs to stay just grass so when we get back there i'll use the tether on the the not square field and then uh put that away grab the wind rower and i'll wind row both fields and then when we go to bail it we'll bail one and then the other i guess this is the cotton field, our neighbor's cotton field I was cutting through, so we'll just cut through this again. Um, yeah, because that's what we have left for steps for making these. We have to run the tether to make hay, run the wind rower so that it's in rows for us to pick up, run the baler, um, and then we'll have hay bales and grass bales, and then we'll go get the the bale wrapper and wrap the grass bales. There we go. And then we gotta find a place to put all of these bales too. How much was that? Nope. I guess we can get there from here anyway though. How much was the 29,000? We have 19,000. So I may end up doing a quick contract 
What do we got for contracts today? I think there was a whole bunch of them. There's harvesting, cultivating, bailing. Apparently that's it. Oh, none of them are worth that much. That one wouldn't be bad. That would probably be pretty quick because they give you a big cultivator. Make silage bales. So I may run a couple of quick contracts to make up the money so that we can buy the the bale storage building um, just because that would make life easier instead of trying to stack all these bales somewhere because we're going to have a lot of bales every time we need to make cow food which will be daily basically we'll have to take bales put them into a a uh, feed mixer so there's just going to be a lot of bale storage a lot of bale maintenance it would be worth it I just hit X to unfold this I'll hit B to turn it on B to drop it down now she's ready to go and I'm going to go make hay, windrow everything and then bale it all and I'll see you when I'm done baling Okay, so here's an interesting bit. I uh, <clears throat> We're at 92% full of hay, 
and we're out of hay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off automatic drop, start getting this grass over here, and that should fill up the last 8% with hay. Usually if it's over 50% and it'll pick it up, it'll just turn it into whatever's in there. If it's under 50% and it'll pick it up, it'll turn it to whatever you're picking up. Okay, so now we have another hay bale. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that over here. Why to unload the baler? So it'll stop screaming at us. Okay, thank you, baler. Why to close it back up? And now all the hay bales are on that field. And I'm gonna turn automatic drop back on and bale up this field. Okay, that's the bailing done. We are 66% of the way towards a new, another silage bale. So we'll probably bale silage first next time we mow. Just because that makes sense. Go ahead and put this away. And I think the next thing that we're gonna do is take out a loan. So I'd like to get the storage for all of these. We also need to get a feed mixer. And then I'd like to get at least a couple cows. So we'll see how all this goes. Put that right there. Let's go ahead. I want to take a look at the price of everything. We'll turn that off for a minute. So feed mixer, the cheapest one... It's going to be under animals twenty nine thousand five hundred. Okay, and then that silos twenty nine thousand. So that's basically sixty thousand. If we if we take out forty five thousand, can we do that? Let's see if we can do that. So if we come to our money tab, borrow, let's get up to 70,000 in our bank account. 59, 64, 69, 514. We'll call that good. So that'll let us build. We're gonna put it over near our cows. The silo. It's not really a silo, but it's under silos. There we go. It's like a little warehouse. Do, 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 do we want it right there? Also put it on the end here. Butt it up behind our greenhouse. I think we're going to stick it in this little hole here. I'm going to hit C just to square it off. I'm going to look at the back side. Because I don't want to get too close to that. I think something along those lines would be good. Boop. There we go. So now, um, actually, then let's go ahead. While I'm thinking about it, before I spend money on something else, let's buy this as well. Boop -doo. There's nothing to do other than the license plate, so we will buy you. Okay. That leaves us 10,733. So now what we can do is we can put our hay away. And I'll put the first couple bales in there. 
Oh, I guess I need to get that first, because otherwise it's going to be in my way. We're going to put our front loader on. And we have that big bail trailer, but I don't think we need it right now. I think what we'll do is I'll just take them over there two at a time. Now, what I'm curious about is if silage will ferment in that because I have never used the um, bog standard um, bale storage. So I don't know if silage bales will ferment in it or not. So I'll take half of our silage bales once we wrap them and put them in there. Thinking I can do two of these. That way we know we have at least half of them will turn into silage and then we can compare it to what's in there and if I need to I can take them out. We'll let them ferment somewhere. We'll find a spot to let silage bales ferment and then once they're silage we'll put them in there. I don't know. We'll find out. If all goes well, they will ferment in the bale storage, and we won't have to mess around with that. Yes, that can handle too. Perfect. So I just have the uh, the pallet forks on, and the pallet forks work really nice for this because you can spread them out, do two, or you can narrow them in all the way, and just do one really well right in the center as far as moving bales. I know the bale spikes are more what you're supposed to use on here, but the pallet forks work well, and uh, so we don't have to spend money on something else. Even though it's only a couple hundred bucks, I believe, but oop, and that took those and stacked them in the corner. Now if we look at this, round bale, hey, 6,500 liters, two bales, two out of 250, so it'll hold 250 bales. I don't know if that amount changes based on the size. Like if you go with the small bales versus the large bales. Or if it's just two, it counts one bale as an individual bale. And you can just do 250 regardless of size. Also not sure if it'll do a mix of square and round bales. Like I said, I haven't really used that before but that's just things to keep in mind when you're buying stuff is there's a lot of variables to even something simple as like bale storage would it hold cotton bales I don't know but you could find out well, let's jam into these boop alright I'll get the rest of these hay bales stored away and then go to the store and get the bale wrapper and I'll meet you back here with the bale wrapper. Okay, so this bale wrapper is pretty simple. We just unfold it and you know, slide off to the side there. And then we drive in so that the bale comes up between that little arm that came down and the main body of the wrapper. It'll pick it up, wrap it for us. You can turn automatic drop on. I think I'm going to leave it off and then just stack everything over here near this um, near the little driveway 
That way it's easier to get everything back and forth to over there. So I'll hit Y to unload. And we'll just go along like that. I'll get this done and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so now with our silage bales all over here ready for transport, I think I'm just going to take two of them, put them in that warehouse, and uh, I think that'll be enough to test whether or not it'll actually make, if the silage will continue to ferment. These are a little heavier than the hay bales. Uh, the silage bales are denser, I believe. So. Right now, they're still grass, if you look at them. It says that it is, each bale here is 5,500 liters of grass. And fermenting is at 0% right now. So we'll put these in here. And... Then next month we'll look at them and see if they've fermented at all. I don't know. It's 50-50. We've got one 4,500 liter round bale of hay, eight 6,500 liter round bales of hay, and two 5,500 liter round bales of grass. So we'll go ahead and mess with all that later. Um, I'm just going to leave the other silage bales there for now. Because they will ferment before we need to mow this again. They should anyway. So we can just leave them there until they ferment. And then we'll take care of them. I'm also not going to mess with getting any of this stuff put away for right now. I'm going to set this weight down. I'm going to get our um, our feed mixer. Get our feed mixer. Get that over here. And then we can skip forward to the next month see how our uh, silage is coming along with fermenting oh actually I do have to put water into our greenhouse still I believe I think we're probably going to need some yes and I picked up a little wheat from one of the <clears throat> contracts I did it was neat the sell point for the contract was the grain mill that we own and so instead of making money off of selling the leftover wheat the wheat actually just went into the grain mill so i'm turning that into flour um and our strawberries are almost full here so once that fills up here i'll switch that over to selling as well we got a little messing around to do so let me get this stuff, um, I'll get this over to the farm, get that greenhouse topped up with water, at least one load. Wait, I didn't even look. No, we're good with water, so I don't got to mess with that, because we did that earlier. Yes, that's right. Okay, so I'll get this over to the house, we'll go to sleep for the night, and then we'll check on our silage and see if it's fermenting in that warehouse. I will see you soon. Okay, let's see what we got. Going to need to take a look at 
the silage that's in the field over here and see what that has fermented to. Oh, this is 93%. Okay, so we will be able to mess with this today. I actually also have to plant that wheat field. I totally forgot about that. I think we still have time. That's not the right menu. There we go. Yeah, we can plant uh, wheat or barley. I think wheat has a higher yield. That'll give us more chicken feed. So those are at 93% or so. Let's pull one out of here. Unless it says it on this. Grass, 5,000. So I guess we go to this menu. Open storage dialog. Hey, hey, grass. Let's take one out of two. Oh, yes, it is fermenting. Beautiful. All right, that rocks. I'm super happy about that. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so if that's the case, what I'm going to do is... Uh... Oh, what am I going to do? I think... What I probably ought to do is plant this field. Do, 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 do. It is mulched. So that's good. It needs lime. So we'll spread lime. I'll spread lime, plant it. Uh, roll it. And fertilize it. I'll do all of that. And that should give the silage time to finish fermenting um, and then at that point we can make our first batch of TMR and buy a cow so I'll see you in a little bit when I'm done with that
Okay, well, that made a pretty pattern, but that stinks. Apparently, I needed to <laughs> uh, cultivate first before I could seed. So the only places that got seeded were the actual places where the uh, bridge marker tore up. So I'll go ahead and finish this off camera so that we can continue. But that's a good lesson for you. I should have checked when we first started to make sure that it was working. Um, all right, I'll go get the feed mixer. And hopefully that has been enough time to let that silage ferment. If not, we can speed up time a little bit because I'm only playing at real time. Um, so we'll be able to speed it up until that silage is fermented and we'll make some cow food and buy a cow. I'll see you back over at the farm. And I got halfway here and realized I'd already picked up the feed mixer. Okay, let's go to the farm. Okay, we're 95% fermented, so I'm going to go ahead and speed up time. All right, so now this has fermented into silage. Let's go ahead. We're going to load them into this mixer, silage and hay, but let's see first what's for sale today. That's 10,000. It's all right. We already have one. We don't need it. We don't need any of that. All right. What I want to do in here is I want to see where's animals. Animals. There we go. So this can hold 11.9 cubic meters, which is if we do 6,000. Um, liters of each near 5,500 and the hay bales are 6,500 that should work out well that we can put one and one in here because you can make 50 50 um, TMR the the straw is not a hundred percent necessary it's used as a filler so you don't have to put so much um, silage and hay in. I'm just going to dump that in. And then we're going to get one of our full-size hay bales. Oh, no. Shoot. Alright, I'll push the rest of those in there. Let's see. Easy enough to remedy. Because we can just... Do one of these, push you into there. So normally, once we're all set up, the way that we'll make TMR is, um, silage and hay and straw and a little bit of mineral feed but for right now we should be able to make tmr with just silage and hay which there's i don't think there's much difference the straw takes up some space and we need chicken feed anyway that's why we're planting the wheat because we'll get straw to make our grass go further and we will get chicken feed to feed our chickens okay you can see over on the side there 
Um, there's a little scale that shows you how much you have for the ratio. Right now we have, if I drop this last liter in here, get off of me, get off my forks. There we go. So we ended up with 53.8% hay and 46.2% silage. And that should make TMR fine for us. If not, what it'll make is um, forage. But we don't want that. We want TMR. But uh, yeah, if you mix up, if you mess up your ratios, you end up with forage instead of uh, TMR. So if we hook to this, it should. 11,900, and I'm pretty sure that's TMR. Let's double check that symbol. So if we come in here, go down TMR. Yes, it's like a ball of goop with some grass bits in it. Because the other thing's probably not going to show up in here. So I don't think you can sell it anywhere. But if you come down to your book and you look at... Oh, uh, greenery? Nope. Animals? Yeah, forage. So it looks kind of the same, but there's more like grass bits. We're looking for TMR, not forage. The TMR is what we have. So perfect. All right, let's get us a cow. We have $10,800. Uh, we're not going to do enough transporting cows back and forth to make it worth buying a trailer. Um, so we'll just open it up and order them right to the thing. The You have three levels, 0 month, 12 month, and 18 month. 18 months can reproduce, and they make milk basically right away. Uh, you can buy the cheap, much cheaper baby cows and let them grow up but of course that takes time and we want milk now as soon as possible so if i double click on the cows that we want the first six cows are milk cows the second six are beef cows you just raise them up until they reach a maximum sell price and then you go sell them all uh we are going to would we have ten thousand for we're gonna buy five cows Bye. And eventually they will make us more cows. Look, there's our cows. Hello. So down in the bottom corner, we have the cow pasture. We have five animals. They're at 0% health. That's fine. Their health will go up as they eat proper food and just live in here. It tells us how much food, water, and milk is in this pen. If you get the bigger pens, um, there's also, you can get manure and slurry out of them, which you can use to either sell or spread on your fields for fertilizer. If you're raising cows, that is definitely a good way to go to save yourself from having to buy fertilizer. But you also can come into your animals and your cow pasture. It'll show the productivity of them. Right now it's zero because they haven't eaten anything. Um, down here at their food, they can eat TMR, which is what we just made, made which gives them 100% effectiveness. Hay, which only gives them 80% effectiveness, or just straight grass, which gives them 40% effectiveness. We want them making as much milk as possible, so we're going to make TMR for them. So I'll go ahead, load this TMR in, and I'll show you how that's done. This, TM, this mixer wagon, I'll pull up a little bit so we can see it. So this mixer wagon has this little output right here on the side, which, you know, most wagons and stuff in the game are on the back, but this one's right on the side. So what we're going to do is pull this right up to their food trough there. We can hit B to turn it on. That's just for aesthetics. It doesn't really need to be on, but I like to turn it on because then it seems like it's mixing it up and actually doing its job. And we'll pull right up so that we're in that trigger with that little door. 
And then we'll hit I, and that'll feed them. We'll start releasing into it. And then once their food storage is full, I don't know how much they'll take, if they'll take a full wagon or not. We'll find out. We're at about 40%. Still going, 30%. Be nice if it was one wagon to one full. Oh, okay, so we're at six percent. So they take almost a full wagon. We can turn that off, and we'll actually loop right around in a circle and go park this. So it takes ninety-four percent of this wagon to fill the feed on that pen. So that's pretty good. Well, have to look it's 9 45 in the morning we'll look at that again in the evening i'll look at it and see how much they may need two loads a day especially depending on how many cows you have in there if you max out what is the max on this pen i think it's 30 cows actually let's see not you you animals oh no it's only 15 it's only 15 for this so they shouldn't eat that much food. We might get away with feeding them once a day. Feed them in the morning, milk them in the morning, top off their water, and then that'll be it. But I'm gonna go, I'm gonna run over to that stream, fill this right up, and then I'll come back to fill up the water. See you in a minute. Okay, filling up their water. So, when they have milk, it'll we'll be able to use this same trailer because we made sure we got a trailer that could do water and milk. Oh, and they only take three quarters of the trailer. But this last symbol at this end is where we'll pick the milk up from, and then we'll sell it. Probably to the dairy, I would think. Let's we'll see who's buying milk. We got the bakery, which we own. So we're not going to sell it at the bakery because all that'll do is put it into our production. We will be doing some of that. But we need to make money first. We're alongside with that. Maybe I'll do sell every other load of milk. But we need to... I'm going to need to grind to make money to buy the stuff to do the sugar cane, including the factory. And we're going to need to buy the dairy so that we can make butter. And so here's a really good tip. If I sell my milk to the dairy, even if they're a little cheaper than the other sell point, um, the milk that I sell to the dairy when we buy the dairy that will be still in it so then i can then change that milk into butter with our dairy and have that distributed so that's where i'm going to sell it um so i'll probably run back and forth bakery dairy bakery dairy that way we're filling our bakery a little bit with the milk we need filling the dairy with the milk we'll need for that and making money on it at the same time and then once I've ground out that, maybe some more contracts, and maybe sell some silage off these fields. Um, we'll come back and uh, set up for sugarcane. Sugarcane is, what month does that go in? So that is in March or April. Right now it's October. One, two, three, four. So I got about five months worth of doing stuff. So I'll have, okay, November, December, January. So I think I'll only have one more grass harvest because grass doesn't grow over the winter. 
So potentially have one more grass harvest, probably in March. So we'll probably meet back in April. That way I can make all of the grass that we harvest next time into silage and then sell all of that in April. I'll sell milk in the meantime. And we're getting close to being full on... Oh, our flour is done processing, so we'll deactivate that. We have 34,000 liters of flour. Okay, our strawberries are full. So I'm going to change that to selling. So now that's going to sell for us automatically. Make us money. That's good. So we have to, I have tomatoes and strawberries growing and automatically selling. And then what was the other thing I was thinking? Okay, we have eggs. We're getting close-ish. They have 816 pieces sitting there. So I'll keep fill, topping up the eggs, and then once the eggs are topped off, we'll just sell whatever we continue to make. And we'll do the same thing with milk and butter as we work towards getting sugar. Normally, you just let them all keep running and keep feeding them in to make stuff, but once it tops out, we don't really have anything to do with it until we get this running. So anything over a full input, I'm just going to sell to help us make money to get this set up. But that's it for this time. Next time we'll be working on getting the dairy and getting the sugar cane fields set up. Um, hope you've learned something and enjoyed the process. I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.